okay so in this video we'll understand the timers timers of allen ridley plc you know timers are typically used to introduce some delays in a circuit so if you want something to be on after a certain time interval even if the input is on this is done by using a timer so let's see the first timer which is ton that means on timer on delay timer you can see that timer on delay now in allen ridley the timer address is given by t4 colon 0 this is my first timer it starts with t4 colon 0 if you want to to you know verify the addresses you can go here data files click on the timers and you'll see different timers here 4 colon 0 1 2 3 and up to you have total 39 timers all right so this is the timer address next next is the time base now what is a time base time base means suppose this is the minimum count which a timer will count this this 1.0 is 1 second so minimum if i uh, i'll come back to this time base again let's see the preset preset is the number of uh, it's the number of uh, not the number it's the time which we give to a timer let's say if i'm entering 5 here all right so 5 multiple of time base 5 into 1.0 that is 5.0 so it means is a it's a 5 second timer so if i change the time base to 0.01 now 5 multiplied by 0.01 it's 0. 05 that is 0.05 seconds so you can change the time delay using a time base so that uh, and you, to get the exact time what you have to do is just multiply the previous preset with the time base so i just want 5 second timer so i'll take 1.0 and 5 as a preset and accumulator is the time which plc counts when timer starts all right so i'll introduce again timer this is the timer address t4 colon 0 this is the time base the unit of this timer this is the preset time which it's it's the delay which we want in a timer and accumulator is the it's, it's the uh, real time when the timer turns on it will start counting so it you can see here accumulator accumulated value all right now there are two different things en and dn this is enable this is done now enable means when timer is on by pressing this i0 this enable bit will be on and done bit will be on when the timer completes its time or when accumulator is equivalent to preset so let's see here so to understand this done bit we have to take a rung here and in no contact and in here we have to write the address of done which is t4 colon 0 slash dn <coughs> sorry so this uh, 4 colon 0 is the address and ds dn is the bit it's a done bit of this timer so this bit will be on when the timer completes its 5 seconds so let's see let's take an output which which is to be on after 5 seconds so i'll take here o colon 0 slash 0 the first output now let's download this program now this program says that if you press the input for 5 seconds then only output will be on if you release the input in between 5 seconds the output will not be on the timer will be reset itself So let's see here. Now I N zero is off, so timer is not counting. Now I'm pressing I N zero button. Now you can see here accumulator has started counting three, four, five. And after five seconds, done bit is on. This is on, and this output is on. So if I release this I zero here, now the output will, the timer will reset itself. Done bit will reset itself, and output will be off. All right. So I'll try again. I'll press. I'm pressing this button again. Now timer will start counting, and output will be on. After five seconds, so that's how we can use timer to introduce delay. Now suppose I need I need a program in which, if I press this button just once, I don't want to press it for five seconds. I just want to press it once, and output should be on after five seconds itself. How can we do that? Because we know that if I press this I zero and if I release it, timer will be reset. But my application says that I just need to press it once, once, and output should be on after after five seconds. for so in that case what you will do is we'll use internal bits of this allen ridley so i'm going to include one more rung here <coughs> so let's this take this rung at the above now i'm going to take this contact at this place i in 0 and i'm going to latch a bit this is a bit this is internal bit i'm going to latch a bit here so i'm giving an address b3 colon 0 slash 0 This is my bit, which will be latched if I press I in zero. Now I'll take this latch bit over here, the same I no contact of this bit. Now what will happen? If I press this once, this will be latched and this will turn on the timer. Now this will will not be off even this, if this is turn off because this is latched. All right. So when the done bit is completed, I will also unlatch this B three colon zero. 
So I'll add something. I'll add this unlatch bit in parallel to the output to so that we can we can start the operation again. So let's copy the same address here. And now the program is done. So th this program says that just pressing this input for once, you can have your output on after five seconds. That's that's the logic of this program. And this can be used in some conveyor belts, some sensor operation, packing operation, picking and placing and fixing, whatever it is, just you need a delay. So I'm going to press this once, I in zero. Now the bit is latched, timer has started. After five seconds, oops, I made a mistake. Hold on, hold on. I don't have to unlatch this because I just want output to be on. So let's not unlatch it here. Let's download. By unlatching it, this was this this gets off. Though it's fine, the timer didn't start it again. It get reset. So now let's see again. A bit is large. After five seconds, output will be on. Output is on because timer is on. Timer is on because bit is on. Now I can use another button to unlatch this bit, which will turn off the output. All right. Suppose you need another button to turn off the outputs. How can you do that? For that, let's take another run. Now here I'll take a button I call on zero slash three. This is my third input. This will be used to turn off this output. So I'll what I'll do is I'll just unlatch this bit. So I'll use an unlatch bit here, copying the address, downloading the program. Let's see again. I N zero. Pressing it. Bit is large. Time has started. After five seconds, output is on. Now to unlatch it, I have to press this once. Pressing it from the panel. This is unlatched. So latched again. Timer started. Five seconds. Output will be on. And this I N three is used to unlatch this bit. So you can use auxiliary buttons to unlatch this timer output. Timed output. So that's how you can use a timer time on delay to turn on the output after certain time intervals and to turn off it using this mechanism, using this logic. So that was about T on. Now similarly we have another timer which is T off, that is timer off delay. <coughs> now there's a slight difference in that. Now uh, let's let's have instead of I in zero, let's have instead of T on, let's have T off here. That I can end this. I can make you clear what this time is all about. So let's take the same address. D4 colon zero. Time base one. Preset five. Accumulator zero. And uh, here I'll take D4 colon zero slash DN. At the output, I'll take an output. Output zero. So this timer says that. <coughs> it is an off delay right so if I turn on the timer by pressing this I in zero this will get off after five seconds right so it means that this timer is already at five okay so by pressing this once let's see timer will be activated okay so when I release this output hold on I have took this unlatch here just to zoom on that it's a mistake I have to take only out here actually I have taken unlatch that's why it's not showing any status now you can see that this is already at 5 ok when I'm going to press this this will activate the timer and timer is already at 5 so if I release this I0 right now I have just pressed this if I release this it will start counting the time and when the 5 seconds are completed it will turn off the output so it is a off delay like if timer is on output will be on when timer is off by turning off the input here it will start counting the time at that instant when timer is off it means when the input from the timer is false then it will start counting the time and after that time done will be off 
So let's try again. I'm pressing this I0. Output is latched. And after 5 seconds, output is unlatched. This is off delay. Let's try again. Output is latched. After 5 seconds, output will be unlatched. That is the timer off. Timer off delay timer. Alright. So, <coughs> this is a, another very good timer application we can use in certain applications. Now come the third timer, which is called RTO, Retentive Timer On Delay. Okay, this is a very good timer because we know that in timer on, when we release the input, timer gets reset automatically. But in this case, it is a retentive timer. It will retain the time for the, it will retain the accumulated time. I'm taking here, let's take 10 seconds this time. And uh, this is fine, output is fine. So now let's see here, I'm going to download that. Now, let's press this IN0 first. Now you can see that time has started. Now I'm releasing this I0. Now what is the good thing here? What happened here? The accumulator is not reset. It has, you know, stored its value in some data register. It has retained the value of 4 seconds. So when I press this I0 again, it will continue from this position. I'm releasing it again at 7. It has stopped at 7. Now it will continue again if I press this I0. So this is called retentive timer, which will retain the time. It will hold the time. It will not get reset itself. So how it will get reset if, this, if it is going to retain the time? For that, we can use a reset command, right? We can also reset the timer by using some different commands or by using a reset command. So I'm going to add a rung here and let's take a button. Uh, I colon zero slash three. And let's use it to reset the timer. There's a reset command here, RES. So let's add an address T4 colon zero. Okay. So this will reset the time of this preset. <coughs> let's download this program. It's up to you at what instant you want to reset the time. It's totally up to you because reset has higher priority. So I'm pressing this I I0 again. So timer has started. Now it is at position, let's say 4. I have released it. Now somehow suppose I want this to be reset. So I'll just press this I3 and the timer will be reset. Okay, this will reset the time. So again I can start the output. Let's hold it for 10 seconds next. And let's, let's turn on the output. <coughs> Now this is going to be on, output is on. Now if I release this, the output is remains on because timer has retentive timer. Now to turn off the, this output, I can simply reset this accumulator by pressing IN3, I3. Because when this is zero, this condition get false, this get false and output is off. So this was about retentive timer. So we have learned and understand three timers, T on, T off and retentive in which time base, it's the unit of the time preset is the time which we want timer for the delay accumulator is the real time which time it counts starts counting so when accumulator equals the preset the done bit is on otherwise the timer is active enable is on that's what we have done we can also take instead of dn we can take en we can take enable bit okay just to show you off let's let's take an enable bit here and take an en now enable will be on when the timer is on right Let's download that. This is just to show you the difference between EN and DN. EN, EN will remain on when I0 is on. Pressing this I0, timer is on, that's why EN is on. So output is on. So you can see here, it doesn't, it's not that useful, but somehow it is used in some different applications. So now DN will have no effect on this timer on, no effect on the output because we don't use that. Method. Right, so this is all about to reset that I can still use this button I3 to reset this so EN is the enable which shows which tells the bit that something is present at the input which is turning it on so this was about retentive timer so uh, this is all about timers you can use timers at different places and you can use different timers the first address is T4 colon 0 if you want to do if you want to use another timer you can use T4 colon 1 and then similarly 4 colon 2 4 colon 3 and so on so that was all about the timer